Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Sunday, July 1st, 2012, and the results are in in the rwgresearch.com Pulse Motor Build-Off 2012. Uh, I do have a winner to announce this evening, but I did want to first talk about the, the, uh, the contest itself. I knew it was going to be difficult to judge. I didn't think it was going to be that difficult to judge. I probably had about an hour to an hour and a half's worth of video combined for all the entries. I spent maybe about four hours today laboring over how I was going to rank each of these entries and give them a, a composite score. I can tell you without reservation that the, uh, the scoring was very tight and uh, where, where some entries shined in one category they may not have scored so well in another and the composite scores were very very close um, russ grease who is holding the contest has himself withdrawn from consideration for the first prize uh first prize award and uh there's a couple reasons for that a uh it's because it's his contest and it really it really is kind of unfair to participate in your own contest and let's face it the kid has got seriously mad skills and it's kind of an unfair advantage to some of the other experimenters who we want to encourage to get started in the field and uh, so with with that in mind Russ did the gentlemanly thing and he withdrew also, uh, Timberjack withdrew from the contest, and I'm not sure why he withdrew. Both of them had really fine entries. Uh, so with that in mind, I will be picking, I will be announcing my pick for first place. I will not be announcing my pick for second or third place because I do not want to influence the other two judges who will be uh, deciding on those prizes. So with that in mind, uh, just to briefly discuss some of the some of the entries. I mean the creativity out there is phenomenal just phenomenal uh, One guy turned in an entry that uh, I think it was fire pinto. He he actually printed off out of uh, out of blank plastic stock All of the parts that he needed or most of the parts that he needed to construct his model with a 3d printer that he just happened to have laying around uh, so, you know, hey, those, that's one of the resources that he has available to him, and, and uh, he uses that to his fullest advantage, and I think that's great. That was very creative. Uh, one guy uh, created a pulse-driven motor that leverages gravity. Who'd have thought? Uh, really, really creative design, and uh, did very well in the, in the scoring. Uh, Mezcal tried an attempt at making a pulse motor that used exploding water as the motive force to drive a, a, uh, a rotary wheel and make it go in one direction. And even though it did not work, uh, the least amount of weight was actually given in the scoring to a device that works. Uh, you know, we, we also wanted to look at, you know, how creative was it? How well did they use the scrap materials? Um, could it possibly work? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I, I think it was a great attempt. You know, that, that's just a, a, a brief summary. I mean, one, one, guy, one guy built a, uh, an example of, uh, of, his, uh, of his pulse motor. I, I, tend, I call it the, uh, the Rube Goldberg of pulse motors. Um, but I'm going to post the link down below, all right, to the, uh, to the form. I also posted it in the last video. I encourage all of you to take a look at all of the entries that were submitted to this contest. The, like I said, the creativity was phenomenal. I commend everybody for their entry. Well done. I think you all deserve a round of applause. Okay. Uh, and with that, my assistant will be handing me the envelope with the winning entry. Thank you, assistant. This is so exciting. I can't wait. And the winner is in the rwgresearch.com 
2012 Pulse Motor Build-Off is Jim Boot with his uh, Rodin Coil Driver Cylindrical Magnet Gizmo that uh, did some pretty did some pretty amazing things. I think he had that thing up well over 8,000 RPM uh, and drawing very very little power. I was very impressed and my personal bias does tend to lean towards some of the more exotic um, the exotic technologies and uh, I thought his use of the rodent coil was in his project was uh, not unique because a lot of people have been doing it but I think he achieved some of the best results I've ever seen so Jim well done congratulations you win first place and you get your choice of uh, one of uh, a couple of different prizes that Russ has to offer and there is also I believe some some cash prize involved in in the uh, contest as well once again thank you all for participating I had a lot of fun judging this contest and uh, if you have not gotten out and built something lately get out and build something because when you build you learn and when you learn you become a better person and you help others as well that's all for now from the lab zero fossil fuel peace